Okay, now let's uh, get to the funniest part, the demolition rollout. So uh, it's very important which fraction you have before start demolition. In case you have fraction elements, which means that uh, you will start all your simulation on per element level, you can't do any demolitions because uh, object basically already uh, demolished it. In next build, we will add uh, built-in Warner fragmentation, so you will be able to uh, demolish all the elements uh, further and further. But for now, you can only demolish clusters or all object. So if you set clusters here, you will start with uh, clusters, which you, which amount you can define here. Let's start with four clusters and debris to zero. So this will be uh, the basic simulation. I'll start loop mode. Okay, so this is uh, this is our four clusters. Let's change seed to make them more look more random. Okay, this one. Okay, so here are uh, there are our four clusters. Now we can start demolishing them, and uh, there is a primary demolition and secondary demolition. Primary is the first demolition which happened. In most cases, you need only one demolition, so. Here you can define this first demolition, and in this rollout you can define secondary and uh, all the rest of demolition uh, levels. So there's a two option right now also. Uh, there will be uh, also Voronoi fragmentation option in next build, but for now just two options, two clusters and two elements. And uh, if you set here to elements, uh, you will just uh, demolish your clusters to this element, nothing special. So let's turn on clusters, and in this mode, every cluster will be demolished to four clusters as well. It uses the same properties here. So it starts with four clusters, and then every cluster demolishes to another four clusters. And uh, in the same way, you can set here uh, two elements as well. And as you can see, it starts demolishing to elements instantly so this is where you can use this time delay property let's set it to 10 frames and in this case uh, okay let me be higher 34 so now you can see that they they don't demolish instantly uh, but only after they hit the ground so this time delay uh, property defines the amount of safe frames uh, during which they won't be demolished for sure so if they uh, if object was demolished, uh, new object that you get after demolition won't be demolished for next uh, uh, time delay uh, value. So uh, this feature allows you to prevent instant uh, demolition to the lowest uh, uh, death level. So let's set it to 10. Okay, and uh, also you can continue demolishing your clusters to even more clusters. So we can set here to clusters. So after all, you can see, might demolish to the pieces. You can increase death level. So every, uh, let's, let me set here the time delay to one. And let me also increase simulation time. And look more closer to some fragments. So here's this fragment. Let's take a look at it. At it. And as you can see, this is a. Mm, let me stop simulation. So uh, it starts from the four clusters. So here you can see this one big cluster, which we get, which we are get uh, as, uh, from the start simulation. Then it goes to this first primary demolition and breaks into these four clusters, this, 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 and this. And then every uh, cluster it start uh, fall to the ground. And here you can see how this clusters goes to the secondary demolition. This one also will be demolished soon. Okay, now it uh, also was demolished. And this is only the first uh, level. We set here def level 2, which means that uh, uh, this every one of these clusters, like, like this guy, might be uh, demolished one more time. 
let's take a look. Maybe it's getting demolished here. No, but well, it seems solidity is still uh, too high for it. But you can see that uh, this one was demolished. You can see here this one, it was solid, and then it also was demolished. So this fragment uh, went to the, the lowest defined depth level too. Uh, and uh, as you can see, you can increase this depth level uh, to get even more depths. Um, so it depends on amount of elements you can uh, demolish your object further and further. So if I will set here amount of clusters two and start again. And as you can see, uh, since uh, we already generated mesh, when we start simulation, it starts instantly. So here are two basic clusters, then it demolished to another primary clusters and every cluster demolished further and further. So actually let me set here 10 delay to zero and increase simulation time to see more. So here we go. We started just with two start with just with two clusters this big clusters this is our initial fraction clusters and then we got new two clusters after first primary demolition so this is uh, first primary demolition new clusters this one and this one and then they fall to the ground and was demolished to another two clusters and then every new cluster demolished one more time and so on. So now let's take a look at what will happen if we will start with object. Uh, let's reset simulation and I will turn off demolitions and just uh, will start the slope mode. So this is our just uh, object which falls and do not uh, don't be don't go to the demolition and now we can start on uh, and again we can uh, turn on elements and get all the elements and as you can see right now it's not demolishing because our solidity is too high here this one in materials group so we can start decreasing it and see what will happen too high again still too high. okay now it's not so controlling this solidity you can define uh, the solidity of object and uh, as I said previously, fragmentation to elements, nothing special. So let's turn off and start demolishing it to the clusters. Again, uh, uh, we get the same two clusters, but this time, these two clusters we get from this primary demolition because we started with uh, one solid object. And now we can turn on a, a secondary cluster demolition. And this is our two clusters from secondary demolition. And again, we can start increase our depth level and get more and more. Uh, if you think that uh, they demolishing too quick, you can increase time delay. Just give them some time uh, before they will be demolished further. So as you can see very quickly and easily, you can try different uh, setups to see how you want to demolish your object. Change clusters here, amount of clusters, uh, and add debris maybe. So very quickly and easily. Um, okay, now let's uh, let me show you this object to captured uh, group. I will turn off. Uh, simulation reset it so uh, right now I have this uh, shutter modifier on the object which uh, fragmented it to the uh, fragments the elements but what if you if, what if I want to demolish some kind of glass object or bottle uh, object with refractive material in this case I will see all these uh, interfaces on renders uh, let me, let me show you what I mean. Let's say I have capacity. And so if render it now. Uh, 
So this is what I get if I will render it now. I will see, I will see all these interfaces. And uh, to prevent it and to be able to use any kind of other mesh, I can turn off. Uh, so I can start simulation with this one solid object, just uh, just a simple box, and uh, then I can um, apply any kind of modifiers fragmented to using this shutter or any kind of other modifiers like bricks or Voronoi. I can add some I don't know noise, whatever 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 I want. I can add any any modifier to get any kind of mesh, and then I am go I go to this rigid rigid modifier. And here I click capture. So now it captured all this mesh with all the fragments. I can go to this um, shutter. I can turn it off. I can even delete it. I don't need it anymore, basically for now. So here I have just one this box and rigid modifier which captured this mesh uh, which was there before. And now I can uh, enable this feature and start simulation. Again, uh, it changed. It generates uh, meshes for this captured mesh, and now I have this mesh. Uh, also, right now I have demolition on, but I can just replace one mesh to another using this object to capture uh, feature. It works only for object, obviously. So right now, uh, what it does, it just changes uh, this box to captured mesh. It doesn't demolish it, just change. So if I will turn off it. Here you can see that I start with this uh, simple box. Don, don, which don, doesn't have all these interfaces and cracks. And then uh, when it hit uh, this static uh, boxes, it changes the mesh to captured mesh. So this one. So uh, now uh, I can start demolishing this object. Uh, not this original box, but uh, captured mesh. And again, I can turn on this primary cluster demolition and get and see how it demolishes. So, and uh, turn on other clusters demolition, maybe decrease amount of clusters. Well, Enough. So here are my uh, demolition of, uh, let's say, some piece of glass which falls to the ground. So it starts with uh, its uh, basic simple shape and then changes it to the fragments and demolishes to pieces. Uh, well, I guess that's it. Uh, Thank you for watching.